We are in the kitchen this morning with Chef Steve Tatley from 110 Grill. Steve, we're making Thai salmon today with a bang bang sauce. Right, so I brought all the ingredients to make our bang bang sauce. It's uh, a nice blend of some Asian fusion. It has a nice little spice note to it, which okay. is really good. So it'll it'll kick up the notch a little bit for you um, and go right uh, into finishing up the summer. Should be great. I was just going to say, because it really, the summer's almost over. I mean, I will say I eat salmon year round, but it really is such a great dish for the summer. It really is. And it's light, refreshing. Again, it has a little kick, um, but still has a little, a little flavor to, to kind of be a little bit more homecoming for you. I love it, I love it. Okay, so just bring me through exactly what we have over here. Sure, so we're gonna start with our um, fresh caught Atlantic salmon. Um, it is the Northern Atlantic species. So it, uh, we describe ours as oceanic farm raised. Okay. Um, unfortunately, some farm raised salmon gets a bad rep, um, but ours are uh, a little different because they're farm raised in an ocean pen. Okay. Um, so no no GMOs, no added hormones, no antibiotics. They're um, as close to wild as you can get. Truly. Which is great. Fresh jasmine rice, um, some ingredients for our broccoli sauce. We've got some matchstick veggies that I brought already for us, and then all the ingredients to make our, our wonderful bang bang sauce. I love it. And don't forget, too, because we have our roadie deals going on as well today, so you can get a $50 gift card for $25 to 110 Grill. All you got to do is go to roadiedeals.com. They're right there for you. Such a great, you know, great thing to do, especially, too, with the fall coming, too, people wanting to, you know, go out for, like, a little date night now that the weather's shifting. So yeah, tell me this, you know, what is your your favorite dish at 110? Ooh, I think I know, it I'm totally putting you on the spot <laughs> it's okay. here. Uh, I think um, it depends on my mood typically, but I typically lean towards more seafood items. So yeah. right now I'll say the Cuban swordfish, and the Thai sesame salmon has actually been on my list for a couple uh, a couple days now. Um, so uh, it's I've been craving it. So we'll, we'll have some after we cook it up today. Well, you guys are the best. We're excited to have this all come together. Thank you so much. For now, over to you guys. Back in the Roadshow kitchen on this beautiful Friday morning, that sizzling sound means one thing. <laughs> Great things are happening right here, courtesy of this morning's guest, Chef Steve Talley from 110 Grill. Good morning. Good morning. I've been paying close attention. You've been preparing. I, I love salmon, so this is a great dish right here today. Thai salmon with bang bang sauce. Right. So love that. Now, before we continue, we told you at the top of the show in the first segment about today's roti deal, but they're all sold out because I bought them all. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's a testament to how great you guys are. So congrats to those of you that got one. That's why you got to stay on top of it every week. Check out RoadyDeals.com. But where are we in the prep process? So we are just about wrapping up. I've got about another minute or so on this last piece of salmon. Uh, and then we're just going to hit it with our bang bang sauce that I finished up a little while ago. Um, it should have a nice um, sweet Asian flair to it with a nice kick of spice at the end. Love that. I want to talk more about the bang bang sauce <laughs> okay. because I love, obviously I love, just love saying it, but obviously it's a nice uh, addition to kind of enhances the whole presentation and the taste as well, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So um, normally it would just be a little salt and pepper that we season our salmon with, no different than any time we would cook anything else. Um, with this bang bang sauce though, it, it adds such a huge depth of flavor um, that kind of takes it from a, just a piece of salmon with some veggies and, and, and a starch to this nice comprised um, Asian flair of, of a dish. Love it. And we all know culinary connoisseurs out there, foodies if you will, if you will, they are very particular so about their dishes and what they like. So if anything can kind of accentuate it, you know that people out there have discerning palates. So this is something that's gonna right. placate them. Right, and it does have, again, it starts off a little um, with a little sesame oil and then you've kind of got that sesame flavor to it. Um, and we'll add, we'll add some sesame seeds as a little bit of a garnish, but it, it's got a nice little kick from some sriracha that I added at the last minute. Um, it, it should put it a little, little bite in your mouth. I can't stop eyeballing everything. <laughs> and I have the plate and knife and fork ready here because I said, I wanna be prepared to sample this because it looks great. Oh, I love this. Just enough right there. Just enough to get by, and we'll just garnish with a little sesame seed. Sounds like me in high school, doing just enough to get by. <laughs> but for you, it must be endlessly rewarding at 110 Grill there to really you know, remind everyone of where you're located. So we're right downtown, actually, right across from the Mika Center, and it um, we have a great partnership with the Friars um, currently. We are sponsoring a couple of the basketball players, which is great. Yeah. Uh, we're on the back side of the residence inn. Um, and everything is going very, very swimmingly there. I love our partnership with, with the Amica and with the residents. It's a great spot right there in downtown Providence. I told you I spend a lot of time down in that area. Mm -hmm. I'm a big Friar fan. I love going to events at the Amp. It's the perfect place to pop in before or after your event, have a drink, have a great meal. The atmosphere is second to none, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we have five different dining areas in the, in the restaurant, um, and you, you're more than welcome to choose any one of them. Bar, you can sit in the lounge, you can have a nice um, chef table that's right in front of the kitchen, which we have 
it opens at Concept Kitchen so you can see all this preparation right in front of you. Or you can just sit in the normal dining room and just kind of relax. And then in the summertime, we have the patio as well. I love that atmosphere. You can kind of see what's going on. Although this is why I, I, I couldn't work there. I, I couldn't have everyone looking at me while I was preparing. But then again, I wouldn't be allowed to prepare anything anyway. So it doesn't matter. Dinner and a show. Dinner and a show. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, is this something that's regularly on the menu? Is it a special? No, this is part of our core menu. Um, and it is doing extremely well this summer. Um, it's been on the menu for about a year and a half now, and I don't see us taking it off anytime soon just awesome. because it, it continues to do a very, very well for us. Um, and it's, like I said, it's got a good flavor, a good balance of, of seasonality to it, so you can have a little summertime, and then as we move into the fall, it's a little hardiness with that, that spicy bang bang sauce to kind of keep you warm inside. Love it. Anything else we need to do here? Is the plating nope. process nope, upon us? This is us, all for this you. This is for me to just, I gotta try this out. I'm gonna have one bite right here. I, I mean, you know, we all are told, don't have the game mouthful. Well, too bad, because I'm on TV and I'm the only one in here with you and I gotta make it happen. I'm getting here on this. I gotta sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely spectacular, and the thing that I love about salmon, also very healthy for you. Right. Um, again, so our salmon is as close to wild as you could possibly get, and one of the negative connotations that normally arises with farm-raised salmon is high mercury content yes. or high fat content. Um, ours, because of the, the way that they're um, farmed, completely sustainable, um, no added GMOs, no hormones, anything like that, and it's very, very lean as far as salmon goes, or, or farm-raised salmon, so it's great. Well, I can't wait to come down and see you once again, uh, Fryer basketball season right around the corner and uh, it's just a great spot. I'll be visiting you and I can't wait, sir. Great. Thank you so Good much. Good to have you here. This is the Man Chef Steve Talley from 110 Grill. If you would like more information, just visit us right now. Roadshow. Look at that. Dot com.